Mmm. Look at all that eye candy. This is going to be a real tough decision. You guys guessed it. Guess what? We are going truck shopping. We need to upgrade that truck. How did that thing get in here? Hmm. Wonder if that's a reason. Is Farm Boy coming? I don't know. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, I just let little Timmy take off. Yeah, he is disking up this corn. I know it's a shame. It's almost like we should try to harvest it, but uh, looks like the corn is a little rotten, if I have to say. So, I'll get little, uh, little Timmy over there. He's going to hopefully get that field somewhat ready. We're still going to have to chisel it and uh, probably disk it again just to get all that cover crop back in. So you guys probably already guessed it. So a lot of you commented on your favorite 90s truck. So last episode, I asked everyone, what was your favorite 90s truck? And it's amazing how many of you responded, how many of you said. There, I think almost even the younger generation has favorite 90s trucks out there. So many stories, so many... A lot of you convinced me of trucks I never even thought of prior to, and it was a really hard decision for me. I already had my favorite 90s truck in my head just because of memory and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you don't see it yet, but we're going to go shopping for it real quick, real quick we are. Uh, but you guys convinced me of all these trucks. I was like, oh goodness, like this is going to be a real hard decision. Uh, there's so many like Dodge, Ford, Chef. If you get three people together talking about old favorite trucks, the only thing that two are going to agree on is the third one's probably wrong. But you guys convinced me. You guys were sold me on a lot of vehicles. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, hopefully I don't disappoint and I know I'm not going to make everyone happy. Sorry for that. Uh, I just can't, you know, get too many trucks. Uh, this old Chevy, our work truck, is going to stay on the farm. I don't know. I just like the appearance of this truck. To me, it just looks almost perfect. Maybe I'm just a little biased, but uh, you need to keep these old good doolies around the farmyard. So we are going to go in to go a little shopping in the 90s. And primarily because... We got a little money to spend. If you look up there, we got a little bit of money, especially for the 90s. To me, I always think about the truck. Whether there's a lot of ways to get into a truck, whether it's, you know, a hand me down, or you just found the, a good deal, or you always had a dream truck in your mind and you just always wanted it, there's a ton of ways to get into a truck. And most of the time, it's just memories of why we have our favorite truck, especially when it comes to past trucks. I know for me, I, I have a past truck I, you probably wouldn't think of uh, overhauling or kind of refurbishing, but I always had a plan in the back of my mind, like this is a truck I would just love to be able to overhaul or find a good used one and kind of paint it how I remember, paint it, you know, and just make it refurbished stock. That's my dream, but maybe it's a little corny to a lot of you, but whoa, that track really got a hold of us there. Almost ran us into the bowl. About took that bowl through the windshield. It's like we have an old uh, Ford Bronco over here at the fire station. But here is our local Texaco slash truck dealership. Truck dealership moved into this old uh, gas station here. And look at all that goodness. Look at all this eye candy here. Especially looking at you. 
I'm just joking, but you know what? It screams at girl power. All right, so let's look through our uh, selection. I know, I know, this is not a 90s. Uh, I always kind of like this uh, sports box. I always call it a sport box. I don't know. That's probably the wrong term for it. But it basically has the hub. Uh, one, we got a lift. Probably an 8 to a 6 inch lift. Maybe up to 10, to be honest. Uh, I kind of like the dark wheels. Especially in the 90s, you don't see a lot of them. It kind of just came real popular darker wheels, black wheels, and all that until the 2000s. Most of it was chrome or just painted white or something like that. That blue and gray just looks popping. It seems like we're missing some trim here on the back. And man, that exhaust pipe could definitely be a little bit more manly. That's a little, that's an itty bitty. That's what she said. Size really matters when it comes to exhaust pipes. I mean, just ask the female. They'll probably tell you. But I uh, would like to get a bigger... These tires, I kind of like it. I just... I don't know what it is about it, but that uh, that little spokes in that uh, gray there looks perfect. Inside is very clean, but this is basically already our truck that we have right here. So we are going to get rid, rid of the, the Ford just because I want to upgrade and I don't want a uh, farmyard full of trucks. Maybe we can always put it at the back of our barn and just keep it. I don't know. We might just keep it because when you have an old truck like that, you it's so hard to get let them go. That's why so many people, you know, collect vehicles and have a big huge lineup in their back we fence row or something. This thing I just love this truck. Almost have an identical truck though in my other series, but uh, that truck, that dually, the flatbed on there, mm, man, it's popping. That's a good looking uh, rig. That is pink. It's like a bright, bright, smack you in the face pink. Like gives you whiplash. Like if you were driving down the road. You're kind of sleepy, you see a pink truck like this go by, and you're all of a sudden, your eyes get all big. For either reason, I don't know. But, that wouldn't be a bad truck to have. Maybe, if Farm Boy comes on here and starts uh, helping me out time to time, I might get this truck just so he can have his pinky here too. So you guys gave me a lot of comments, and I'm going to tell you one of the top was either a first gen or second gen 12 valve ram so this is a 2500 this is only a single cab uh this has a chrome front end slt yeah i think it's slt the red i'm kind of digging the red if you don't know you know there's a lot of these trucks around this is from expendables modding by the way it's got the tow mirrors on it Ooh, look at that, uh, that old CD player in it. Definitely brings back memories. This is a pretty clean truck. I kind of, I really dig this truck. It's old Cummins. Wouldn't mind having another one of these. That's definitely a possibility. Uh, into, I, I don't know what it is. I've always liked cab lights. I just think that cab lights make a truck look so much better especially like this old Ford kind of like I really like these cab lights they kind of give a unique old-fashioned feel to it but we're gonna go a little bit newer we need a 90s truck not an 80s or 70s as that Wow talk about smack your face green so I, I think I said this was a 12 valve 24 valve but but they make I thought it was 92 to 94 or 94 to 98 was a 12 valve so so my dates might be off I know somewhere in the 90s they made a 12 valve second gen it's got the chrome up front it is missing its ram hood mount 
Where's that at? Come on. We need the ram hood map. It does have a chrome uh, differential cover. I would hate to get underneath there and polish that chrome or clean that chrome. It's not the easiest, especially if you've ever done it in real life. It would be interesting to have that green of a truck, especially trying to show up and be all serious with somebody. I mean, first off, they're going to have a big old grin on their face like, Ugh, what's wrong with this guy? And then they're like, uh, I don't know about you. You drive a lime green truck. You're kind of cool, but you drive a lime green truck. So this is a painted front end. So still doesn't have that ram hood mount. It's like one of the best things on this truck. Just love the ram hood mount. So this is a 2500 three quarter ton chrome wheels. Has a toolbox in the back. All black, black on black on black. Look at this. Well, gray, I guess. Really interior, but black on black, gray. Black on gray, black. I don't know how to really say that. Uh, I would love this truck. To to me, honestly, this almost looks like me. I I owned a 06 Dodge Ram, Night Runner edition, single cab Hemi. The main issue with an all-black truck is primarily pictures just never look as good with an all-black truck. I don't know what it is with it, but they just never turn out as good-looking with a black truck. That's primarily why I stay away from black. Just a little tidbit there, but that's just my personal opinion. That might not be everyone. So a lot of you are probably really mad at me because... I got an old 70s Ford and I got a 99 Ford right here so uh, it's like hit or miss to me personally I much rather prefer like the 92 by body style Ford and I honestly thought I put one of them in there just because I wanted it so bad but all I have is a 99 Ford which I'm not dissing this that much at all to me i've always kind of liked this body style i don't know what it is with the like the 1992 ford to me that front end just always looked better but that's just my personal opinion a lot of people prefer this this was a big old power stroke so this was a big good sounding ford out there so i remember when this thing came out but it, it would to me I've always liked the older style and primarily just because we had a good family buddy that had one and I always rode in that thing so what the heck is that thing flying up in the air we got a UFO checking out our truck placement here but this is my favorite truck from the 90s it's probably my personal favorite is a 1996 I believe it yeah it's it's this basically grill style has to be this so as a bow tie fan all that you know me know I kind of prefer GMC just because most of the time the newer grills I think GMC's look better not in the old days the bow tie had the perfect grill so I really tried to find a single cab, not just an extended cab. I really wanted a, a single cab, 1996, 98. Don't even talk to me about 99. I'm not a fan of that. I know it's it's just my personal belief. I don't like 99, and basically they took away my uh, they took away my my uh, light setup. My I don't know how you would describe this. My stacking lights is how I always described it. You got your blinkers on the bottom, you got your driving lights, you got your blinkers, and you got your uh, headlights with your uh, high beams on there on the top. Kind of the stacking grill. Of course, the chrome grill across there. Good old gasser. That's what I say. So the, this is a half ton gasser. Uh, stick shift on the bottom which you know is always fun to drive around especially if you're not in uh, 
rush hour traffic. Anybody that's ever drove a stick in rush hour traffic, I feel bad for you. That's like painful. Trust me. Very painful. Power windows. Look at that cassette player. Yeah. Rock in the 90s here. But to me, I would love to refurbish back to stock one of these old of course it has to be single cab just for a fun truck I'd probably be a truck where I drive all the time to be honest just because uh, it's so convenient you know anybody that has like a diesel around or a bigger truck gets one of these little small single cab trucks and you'd be amazed at how much you drive it just because it's so convenient you could just jump in it and drive uh, a lot of these have so many miles on it they are just worn out built like a rock was the Chevy's model back then I think yeah built like a rock and uh, man if they were built like a rock that rock definitely had a few chips in it rolling down the hill uh, it was definitely skipped across the water and hit the cement wall on the other side because not saying that they were bad or anything but they were just driven till the wheels fell off you can find these all over the place but a lot of them have a real high mileage on them which isn't necessarily bad I don't care as long as but it's just gonna take more time and effort to refurb I would love to be able to refurb one of these that is my dream I know you know you guys probably all have your favorite dream truck you have thought about refurbing the only reason I really haven't started a refurb with this is primarily I'm in a service and moving that stuff around is not easy now I have a tough decision of which body which style am I gonna get Ooh, wow these two tones just remind me so much of this uh, year frame. There's so many of these good old two-tone trucks. Here's one that's a single tone, basically doesn't have the line. If you don't know, like check out how many color schemes you can get and customize this truck. So here's your truck. Basically, we're going to design. Check out how many you get here. You could be at this all day long and not get every combination here. There is so many cool combinations. Ooh, look at this. We might have a possibility. Ooh, maybe we can attract a certain uh, farm hand, farm boy, with this uh, beautiful pinky. I'm just joking. So many possibilities. I mean. Some of these trucks like this, yeah, that, that looks bad. There's no way that's ever going to look good. Something close to almost that was one of my old uh, employees had a truck like that. And I'm kind of thinking, I know it was almost pink because uh, I always made him mad because I called it pinky on him. Man, what what are we going to do? This, this is the worst thing about having this many options is you're like where oh where is my perfect painted truck in my opinion that looks like baby puke no so man oh man I'm just so confused uh, there's so many selections do you any of you ever feel this way when you're trying to walk through a dealership that has so many colors so many options Man, can't make up my mind if I'm siding towards this right now. I really think that this would be the, wow, that, that is a oh, good looking truck in my opinion, but uh, white, this is a good looking, whew. so many good looking trucks. I think I'm over the green and red just because, yeah, festive black and red so hard of a decision you know this is another option definitely an option right here drive this over to the possibilities lot 
I know, we're just driving over the train tracks. You can drive over the train tracks. You might ruin a tire or two, but uh, definitely going to be a little bit of a uh, bump. Let's just say that. Oh, wow. Can't make up my mind. Might be... The white might be in. The white and gray. And then we're going to get lime. No, just joking. Thinking we're going to get old big red here. Big red. Hmm. Yep. So we have our work truck right there. One ton dually. And we have our good little three quarter ton. And we can get a lot of work done. And uh, sorry for all you Ford lovers out there. I just couldn't get a good looking like 92 style maybe later. We can always... There's always a chance to get another one. But I think these two are going to be our next farming trucks in the 90s. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in 1990s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Good thing we got the big truck and we got the big wash entrance. 12 feet. Man, we're gonna, we can really get a high boy lift on it then. Don't forget, like the video.